everyone. Welcome back to the thrilling mystery of Omicron. Last time, uh, one thing we got was a book that told me about some combos. You can, you know, remember this. Uh, so we're back at the fight simulator right now. Now we're going to try out these combos. We're going to see what we bought. So it, it does seem to be the case that the letters A, B, C, D correspond to punch one, punch two, kick one, kick two. So that's simple enough. Seems like all combos are just variations of tapping out different buttons in that way. Um, all right, so we're just going to fight on easy so we can see what these combos are like. Thank you. Get ready. The fight is about to start. Mm -hmm. So the first one we got is double punches, B and A. So we're going to tap that out, see what we got. I'm going to guess we're going to punch twice. That seems about right. Okay, double punches. Next, we got two hit shock. That's two hit shock. Uh, two hit punishment B. Oh, so punishing. Then two hit punishment C. Next, we got the two hit sanctification. I don't think I did it right. There we go. Totally sanctified. Let's try the four hit combos now. Hello, Agent Kale. Thank Choose you. Choose your difficulty level. Get ready. The fight is about to start. Okay, we got four hit no mercy combo A, which is, uh, let's see. Like that. And then we got four hit no mercy combo B, which is... There we go. Next, we got four hit rapid death fist combo. Totally death fist. Death fisted, I should say. Okay, let's see. We got the... Dodge out of the way. Then we got the four hit hell combo. I, I think he died before I was able to do the whole combo. Hello, Agent Kale. Thank you. Choose your difficulty. Get ready. The fight is about to start. Hell comboed. There we go. N lastly, we got the Razor's Edge combo. Yeah, that seems right. And I have now reached the fighting level Master of the Inner Voice. Okay, I was about to say, now we've completed all of our combos. But it seems like we got something else as well. We leveled up. Our fight experience is now Master of the Inner Voice. Our fight experience before this was Tar Decif Disciple. Um, it seems like a pretty big jump to go from Disciple to Master of the Inner Voice. You'd think there would be something in the middle there, some intermediate step. But uh, no, we have become the Master. Uh, is there a higher rank than Master of the Inner Voice? Because that sounds pretty high. I don't know. It seems like... Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a higher level. But, I mean, we're still pretty early on, so you'd think there would be. And you'd think there'd be more moves to learn. But we have learned some moves. We have combos that we can now bust out when it's time to fight. But, in order to fight, we have to find the people that we need to f We need to find the people who deserve to be punched and kicked by KL-669. Our pet Koopy does not, but someone surely does somewhere. How do we find them? Well, I was trying to figure out where we need to go next. Um, and you know what I think I'm going to try? I think I'm going to try buying some advice. I know this cost rings, but right now I have nine rings. I figure I should try buying advice at least once just to see what that looks like. So we can do it here. Now, I believe what's going to happen. Advice. That's weird. It looks like... It looks like there should be two things to select. But there's only, like, one... 
Mm. You see that, right? Like, one of them says the dossier on the serial killings is in the archive. I must find a way to get in there. The second one says, I wonder why the dossier on the serial killings was classified confidential. I suspect this investigation was linked to the disappearance of investigating Agent Kale. but absolutely must find a way to access this dossier. But, like, only one entry is listed on the screen at the top. Like, one of them is just not being shown. That's weird. All right, so... What can we buy advice from? It looks like it's saying that I can either buy advice on how to how do we get into the archives or how do we get access to the file marked confidential? Um, and I believe that these are the entries that we have here, right? Yeah, two entries. It's actually the exact same text. And yeah, there are two of them. I don't know why only one is... I don't know why it doesn't show us two here. Like, one of them... Sh one of them should be appearing, but one of them, they're not. Oh, oh, anyway, let's ignore that. Which one am I going to spend rings on to find out what to do next? How to get into the archives? Or, or how do we access the file that's labeled confidential? Um, so these are the two things I need to find. It seems like both of these things are centered on the police department. So I was going around, you know, exploring the city, but now I'm wondering if maybe the police department is where I have to go. Like, it may be the thing to progress is in the police department, is what I'm saying. So maybe I should focus on that. Um, the, the, the file that we read... Hold on, let me look at this file. I'm just trying to remember, you know, everything we've been looking at. Um... I don't see it here, but one of the things we read did say that the dossier was classified and that only the commandant or the captain could give the code to unclassify it. So that's what this second one is about, I suppose. We need to access it. We need to get either the commandant or the captain to give us the code or maybe steal the code from them. I'm not sure. Or we could find out how do we get into the archives and get past that mecha guard who guards it. Now, I suspect that I already have, I already kind of know how to do this because there's a mecha guard guarding the archives. I did find that control room that can let me control the mecha guards. I don't know how to use it yet, but I suspect that I use that control room to get one of the mecha guards to get out of the way so I can get in the archives. I suspect that's probably what I need to do. The second one, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know how to get the code. So, I'm gonna buy advice on what I should do here, and we're gonna- we're just gonna see what this looks like. How good is the advice? Is it good enough to actually spend these rings on? I don't know, but we're gonna try. Three rings. So, I am spending three save files to buy this. It better be pretty good advice, because this seems like a hefty price. But I'm gonna try it. Two paths lead to the truth. The first by soothing to, soothing to sleep she who holds the key. The second by eliminating the guards. As a reward, choose the more difficult path. Okay, this is just a riddle. The advice is a riddle. I, you know, considering what we're paying for this, how valuable these rings are, I think we should be getting something more straightforward. Okay. It's saying that there are two ways to do this. The first is by soothing to sleep she who holds the key. I guess that's the captain, because the captain is a she, and the captain is the one who can give me the file. She can open the file. I have to soothe her to sleep. The second is by eliminating the guards. So those are the mecha guards guarding the archives, I guess. As a reward, choose the more difficult path. Do I get a reward if I choose the more difficult path? Which one is more difficult? Is the more difficult one soothing someone to sleep? Or is the more difficult one eliminating the guards? I assume they mean the mecha guards guarding the archives. I assume they mean that. I, I, I don't know. Did that seem worth it to you? I don't think it seemed worth it. That was a hefty price to pay for a riddle. Okay. I can soothe the captain to sleep, or I can get rid of the mecha guards. Like I said, I suspect I know how to get rid of the... Well, I shouldn't say I know. I should say that... 
I can use the control room to get rid of the mecha guards. And I did get rid of that one operator who was using one of the on one of the consoles. But I wasn't able to use the console. I needed I think it said a control kit. And I don't have one. Um, I need to find one. Is there anything here that I haven't gone to yet? Kale's apartment I've been to. Kalazar? What is that? I should probably check out all the addresses I have here that I can go to on sliders. Just to... Because there might be something important. What is this? It's Kalazar. Is this like... Oh. Like I'm going into like a different area of the city maybe? Hmm. Should I do that right now? Hello. He's not doing anything. Alright, let me just run through here and see what it is. I think I'm leaving this part of the city, though, and I don't know if I should be doing that. It seems like I should be going to the police station. Yeah, this is like a different district, isn't it? it yeah, it looks like it. There's a peep show over there. There's like a sign for it. Um, do I have different slider locations? No. The slider locations are still the same. Um, let me go up to the peep show, because remember there was that one guy who likes posters of women, posters of strippers, and, uh, I was wondering how do I get that, and maybe I should just check out the peep show. Kate's Bar? Is the peep show part of Kate's bar, or is it something else? Uh, okay, these are the yeah, these are the posters I saw. These are them. I don't understand this. All right, let's go in the go in here. See what we get. I hope it's not first person shooting. Some great ambient sound effects going on right now. Thanks for the advice. Actually, that reminds me of something. Hold on, let me check something here. I was looking I was thinking about the audio, how the, the voices seem to always be drowned out. So let me just turn down the ambient and the SFX, and I'm going to leave the dialogue volume at maximum. <laughs> oh my god. So, alright. Hopefully that'll make the dialogue more audible. It's shut. This one is not. Alright, what we got in here? Coin cost 10 sedics? Uh, I don't know what to do. Get, I'm getting sweaty in here. I didn't realize that uh, we were in for such erotic entertainment today here in Omicron. Yep, that's what we paid. <laughs> that's what we paid for. That seems like not a lot of time for for ten sedics. Nothing interesting. I'm glad I came here and paid that money for that. Uh, you seem like an NPC that I could probably talk to. That body is much more con convincing than- What? Hey girl, your body is much more convincing than mine. <laughs> what, is, what are you- What am I- I was about to say, what are you even talking about, Kale? But what am I even talking about? Because that's me. What do you mean her body is more convincing than ours? That doesn't mean anything. Can I talk to the people who are in here? Probably not. Well, I don't... I don't want to pay another 10 sedics for what we just got. I, I'm guess. So is this the whole thing? It's just like this one big booth with one stripper and like people in the, in the rooms around it? I don't know what to do. I just wanted to buy a poster. 
I wanted to see if I could buy a poster here. Hold on, what's this here? Yep, it's like a big statue of a woman. Nothing special. Anything over here? That's like, there's just the same thing. All right, so that's what this place is about. Excuse me, sir. Can I buy any of your fine posters? How's it going, pal? Oh my, oh my. I just want to, like, this one. Can I buy this? I know someone who would be very interested. No, I guess not. Well. That, her, your body is more convincing than mine? What, what does that mean? Well, there's nothing I can do here, it seems. Or, I mean, if there is, I don't know what it is. Here's Kate's bar. I'm just going to see if we can go in and talk to, talk to people. I mean, here's another poster. Are there posters here I can buy? My mother always told me not to speak to strangers. I mean, that's kind of a bad rule to follow in this situation since I got nothing against developing a social life, but I've got important things to do. I mean, we're going to have to talk to strangers here. There's like no way around it. I, am I going to have to kill you? Hello. May I get you something? Well, you're much more polite than the last bar bartender. I'd like to drink something. Now you can get Kloops beer, Quana Cola, Coil... Yuki? I don't know what that is. A koopy sandwich. So, this was the same stuff that we could get at other places. Have a nice day. I don't need anything here. I don't see anyone who stands out. A little less talk and a little more action. Well, we've been to the place where it has plenty of action. But, I mean, it, you pay five statics for it and it doesn't last very long. Alright, should I be here? I don't suppose anything got added to my memory. No, nothing did. Nothing did. I have to put the key, the key holder to sleep or get rid of the guards. So I have some idea of what that means, but uh, not enough. I can assume, though, there's probably nothing for me here. What's that? I don't know what that says. Or maybe there is something for me here, but I'm kind of doubting the way to progress the story is here. I can't read that. I can't read that. Forgive me. I wonder how big the city is. We can just keep running for a while. Oh, hey, it, like, uh, oh, it says sex, sex shop, sex stop, is what I think it says. Well, I guess that's where we have to go. Do I have to get up onto that? Uh, sorry, sir, don't mean to block traffic. Do I have to get up on that platform to get to the sex stop? Do I have? To, is it necessary to like walk up here and walk around the walkway? That seems inconvenient. Actually, there are multiple sex stops, aren't there? It's a popular chain. Power to the sexers. Yeah, there's a sex stop conveniently located right here. Is this it, or is it the next one? Like, the sign is right here. Yeah, okay. How's everyone doing? Any any good sex items for sale? I mean, yeah, they're right here. We can see them. Hello. Hey, dude. What do you want? What do you got? I'm looking for something for a, a friend. What do you have that's not too weird? Okay. I am supposed to go here after all. I bought the poster. Only five? We are pretty cheap, I Adios, guess. Amigo. How do you know Spanish, friend? I mean, I assume that I, I perceive what you're saying to be English because I am in Kale's body and uh, 
like I'm, I'm hearing things through his mind, but you said amigo. Why would I perceive something that you said to be Spanish? Maybe you said something in a different Omicronian language, and to me, hearing things through Kale's ears, it in, I interpreted it as Spanish. Anyway, let's take a look at what we got. He already has this. This looks a lot like what he already has. Well, I hope he likes it. You know, honestly, I did not really expect there to be any progress to be made there. Um, but I have something that will probably bribe that guy. So let's go back. Why did I ask for something that's not too weird? I wanted to see what the weird stuff was. Oh, it's starting to rain. This game had weather systems? High tech. Shenmue, eat your heart out. Have I been to the gun shop? There is a gun shop that we passed. I forget if I've been in there. I should probably see what it is. But right now, we're, we're here on business. Omicronian police business. We have to bribe the internal affairs guy with, <laughs> with a poster of a stripper. I don't know what we're getting. Get, I don't know what we're going to get from that, but he wants it. Uh, let's see where it, um, Boog was his name. All right, Boog, you're going to get what you want. His office is the blue one. So it's right here. He's, he's expecting me to give him something. Well, I got, I got what you need. Boog. Wow, another one for my collection. You know, it's funny. You always see the same thing, but you never grow tired of it. Little gifts foster friendship. Here's one for me. Thanks, Boog. What did I get? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a hell of a gift, Boog. You're gonna give me this just for a poster of, of, a, of a stripper? Okay! The master key can be used to open certain offices in the center. Oh, it deactivates after use. So it is, a, is it a one-use thing? Hmm. Do I need to be careful about what I use this on? Offices, you say. Well... I do want to get into Den's office and see what's in there, but do I want to just use it on that? Because that one friend that we talked to said that we can get into Den's office if we get his badge. So assume I assume his badge is around here somewhere. Hmm, what do I want to go in? That's something. There's nothing here in the memory. Hmm... I have nothing new to tell him. Wow, you just give him, like, some porn? I mean, not even porn. It's like, just, you know, it, it, there's not even any nudity there. You just give him that, and he gives you the ability to access any office in this station. That is amazing. Uh, but what... You, okay, if, if I could only use it once, I have to be really careful about what I use it on here. Let's see, Tarek 511, Boog 710, Shama 337, Vodum 457, Grizz 398. There's the Combadon. Combadon's office is guarded by mecha guards, though. I don't think I can unlock that. Kale, Den, Mar, Sork, Yodam, and Paxer. I could try Den. Do I want to use it on Den? I don't know. Oh, I mean, if I, if, uh, I could always reload if I use it and it deactivate. See, that's the thing. I don't know. I do like to, you know, I don't like to save scum. You know that. But uh, kind of concerned about what I might or might not be able to use this on. The arc. Okay, the archive, the archive room, I think, was locked. And it also had a guard. Let me try something. I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to save. 
and I'm going to go to the archive, and I'm going to see if this key will unlock the archive, and I'm going to see if that mecha guard kills me for doing that. That hint said that there was a reward for doing this the harder way. But which one is the harder way, do you think? Oh, this is the one. Alright, so that that's guarding that. But I can go... So what if I use this? Oh, all right. Well, never mind then. Still have it. But okay, but it is locked. So does that mean? Well, it doesn't say it's locked. It says it's the control unit. Am I not trying to open it because this guard is here? If the guard wasn't here, would I just be able to open the door? That might be it. All right, let's try using it on Den's office just to see if it works, since I did save. It's the red one. There's blue. Oh, is this it? That looks... Kind of red. Kind of looks like orange. No. This is someone else's. Green? Oh. Actually, there's one over there that looks kind of reddish purplish. Is this it? I wouldn't really. I would think that looks a little bit purplish, but. Den's office. Okay. Let's give it a, ch give it a shot. No, it doesn't work. Um. Hmm. I mean, for a master key, this is not opening a lot. Let's see. Um, just thinking. Let me try the surveillance room. Still no one here. I guess this person never comes back. I have no active control kit, so I have to find that in order to use this. Maybe there's a way to control a mecha guard. Maybe there is, Kale. Maybe there is. Uh, let me try the det maybe by detent maybe by key they mean for the cells. That could always be it. But is there a reason for me to go into these cells? Oh. I can't go in here. Oh, so it's blocked off. Yeah, I'm just gonna say for security HQ master key. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot I can do with this. Archive room, we already know about that. Investigating agents, it didn't work on Dale and Den's office, so I don't have reason to think it would work on the other offices, but maybe it would. Um, the Commandant, the Surveillance, let's see. Oh, there's this guy here in the maintenance room, that's right. I was thinking that I should get him a beer, I never did that. I should put that on my list of things to do um, to buy that man a beer. Actually, there was a beer at that bar. Should I have bought the beer at the bar? Then I would have a beer right now, and I could give it to him. There was a locked door down here. There's no reason to. It doesn't say it's locked, but let me just try it. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, now I actually wish I bought that beer while I was at the bar, because I could have just given it to that guy right here. What about this? Doesn't work. I'm just, again, 
this does not seem like much of a master key. It's shut. Okay. I, d despite having this key, it doesn't seem like, um, it doesn't seem like it's really opening anything for me. It doesn't really seem like it. Maybe there's like one locked door somewhere in this station that this will actually unlock, and I just don't know which one it is. That could be the case. That could be the case. All right, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I am going to go back to that bar. And I am going to buy it. No, no Move along. Yeah, doesn't want me to go in here. The office is locked. Um, oh, the camera's not changing perspective either. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Wait, the camera's not changing perspective and I can't... Okay, there's... The, the head button works. The head button works. I seem to be in a corner. Let me turn around. Okay, I'm behind a mecha guard. Let me walk forward. There we go. All right, the camera was not changing perspective, and I could not figure out where I was or what I was doing. Well, I saved, so I guess it doesn't actually matter. All right. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think... Well, I think that we're going to say goodbye for right now. But what I think I am going to do is go to my, for next time, I'm going to go to my mecha, what is this thing called again? Multi-plan. I'm going to, I think I have in this, I have a can of Kloop's beer. And I'm going to give that to the mechanic next time and see if that gets him to open up. I also have that sleeping pill prescription. I got that at the beginning of the game. And it did say that I should put the holder of the key to sleep. Um, what did that... Hold on, let me just take this... Take these things out. And the beer. So I'm gonna give that to the guy. Uh, gives restful sleep a few seconds after ingestion. Solution to be diluted in liquid. To obtain this medication, present this prescription at Ikanzu Pharmacy. So the pharmacy would be the place where we could buy those med kits. Remember that when we were walking around the city? One of the stores we went to was Kanzu, and they sold med kits there. That must be the pharmacy, so I can bring this and get the sleeping pills. And it says dilute them in liquid. And previously we gave the captain a cup of future coffee. Am I supposed to drug her? Is that the next step? Because it said I should put the, the holder of the key to, the holder of the key to sleep. That's one of the paths. And I have sleeping pills. And they can go in liquid. And I gave the captain a cup of coil. Is the solution to this that we're supposed to spike her drink? Because I did not think that we were at a point with our boss that our relationship was that hostile that we were going to do that. That, that other guy, that other guy who was a big jerk to us, yeah, sure, that guy who said that he was disappointed that we weren't dead. Like, sure, whatever to that guy, but I thought we were getting along okay with our boss. Like, I mean, she thinks we're suspicious, but she also agreed with us that Jenna was innocent and should go. Uh, we really gonna put sleeping pills in her, her drink? Maybe that's what's happening next time. Uh, okay. I'm going to fulfill this prescription, I'm gonna get the sleeping pills, and I'm going to see if we can give our boss another cup of coil. This time with the sleeping pills in it. Why are we doing that? Uh, maybe because maybe I do that and then I can search her office and find information because I can't search her office while she's awake. That's bad manners to do that. It's much more polite to drug her with sleeping pills and then search the office. That might be what we're doing next time. 
And we're also going to the, give the mechanic this beer. We're also going to do that. I hope Kale <clears throat> wasn't uh, planning on job security as a cop. I hope he had a backup plan if he was ever fired for gross insubordination. Uh, cause it looks like he's gonna need it. Assuming he ever gets his body back, I doubt he's gonna still be a cop after this. We'll see next time on Omicron.